logarithms. We take our first problem. Evaluate 5.21 raised to the power of 2 times cube root of 3.891. To simplify this problem, we are going to create a table. So the first column we have our numbers and the second column we have the logarithms of the numbers. And the numbers will be written here. 5.21 raised to the power of 2 times 3.891 raised to the power of 1 over 3. Since in indices, this cube root can be written as a fractional index. So we take the first number, find the logarithms. The logarithm of any number has two parts. The integer part, which is the power of 10. If the number is expressed as if the number is expressed in standard form, so here 5.21 expressed in standard form, the power of 10 will be 0. So our integer part here is 0. We now go to the logarithm tables, look at 52 under 1. And there 52 under 1 gives 0.7168. And uh, because of this power 2, we shall multiply by 2. So we multiply the logarithm by 2. Multiplying 0 0.7168 by 2, we shall have 1.4336. And then we'll go to the second number. Also, 3.891 has two parts on the logarithm. And the first part is the integer part which is the power of 10 if 3.891 is expressed in standard form and here the power will still be 0 so I have 0 going to the logarithm tables find the logarithm of 38 under 9 differences of 1 the differences is being added so we have 0 0.5900 because of this uh, fractional index, 1 over 3, we shall divide 0 0.5900 by 3. And that will give us 0 0.19666. So to four decimal places, we have it as 0 0.1967. Now, and because of this multiplication here, we are going to add. So adding the logarithms. 6 plus 7 is 13. We write 3 carry 1. 3 plus 6 is 9 plus the 1 we have carried 10. We write 0 carry 1. 3 plus 9 gives 12. Plus the 1 we have carried gives 13. We write 3 carry 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. Plus the 1 we have carried 6. So we have 6. Place your point. 1 plus 0 gives 1. And uh, we now go ahead to find the antilogarithm of 1.6309. To find the antilogarithm of 1.6303, we shall consider the fractional part first. Considering the fractional part, on the antilogarithm tables, we check 63 under 0 differences of and that will give us 4, 2, 6, 9. Then we come back to the integer part. The integer part here is 1. It is by custom or tradition to add 1 to this 1, making it 2. Then we now count 2 digits and place the decimal point. So we count here 1, 2, and place our decimal point here so that the solution of our problem gives 42.69. Problem number two, still under the logarithms, we have to evaluate 6018 divided by square root of 87.25. To do this again, we need a table. Then under this number, we have a 6018 divided by 87.25 raised to the power of half. Then we find the logarithm of 6 
6018. The logarithm of 6018, again we have two parts. Express this number in standard form. What we have, we'll have 6.018 times 10 raised to the power of 3. So the power 3 there will form the integer part. Then we now go to the logarithm tables. Look at 60 under 1 differences of 8. Add the differences to what you have under 1. So we have 0.7795. Then here, since this one has no power, we leave the logarithm like that. Then we go to the second number. Then express this 87.25 in standard form. We shall have the power of 10 as 1. So the integer part of the logarithm of 87.25 here is 1. Go to the logarithm tables. Look at 87 under 2 differences of 5. So we shall have it as point. 9407 because of the fractional index here we shall divide by 2 dividing this by 2 will have 0 0.9704 because of the division here we shall bring this closer in line then we now subtract in our subtraction 5 minus 4 gives 1 9 minus 0 gives 9 7 minus 7 gives 0. 7 minus 9, we have to borrow 1 from 3. Borrowing 1 from 10, we have 17. 17 minus 9 gives 8. Place your point. We are left with 2 here. 2 minus 0 gives 2. And again, we have to look for the anti log readings of 2.8091. If you still remember, we keep this integer part. Then the fractional part, we go to the antilogarithm tables, 80 under 9 differences of 1. So 18 under 9 differences of 1 gives 6443. And uh, we come back to the integer part. The integer part is 2. Again, we add 1, making 3. So we now count 3 digits and place the decimal point. So 1, 2, 3, place the decimal point. We have succeeded in evaluating the problem to give our answer as 644.3. Problem 3. Evaluate 76.12 times 4087 all over square root of 841.9 correct to three significant figures. We create our table again. We have number and a log. So we are going to deal with the numerator first. Dealing with the numerator, we have the numerator here. Then the integer part of the logarithm of 76.12 is 1. Go to the logarithm table. 76 under 1 differences of 2 gives 0.8815. Then the integer part of the logarithm of this number is 3. We now go to the logarithm tables. 40 under 8 differences of 7. We give us 0.6115. Then because of this multiplication, we shall add. So adding this, 5 plus 5 is 10. Write 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, you have carried 3. 8 plus 1 gives 9, and uh, 8 plus 6 gives 14. You write 4, carry 1, then we we'll place our decimal point. 1 plus 3 gives 4, plus the one we are carrying here gives uh, 5. So this is the numerator. We now go back to the denominator. The denominator is square root of 841.9, that is expressing it in index form. We have 841.9 raised to the power of half. So the integer part of the logarithm of this number here again is 2. So we have a 2. Then go to the logarithm tables. 84 under 1 differences of 9. That will give us 0.9253. Because of the fractional index here, 
we shall divide by 2. Dividing this by 2, we will have 1.4627. Call this one the denominator. Since a number over another, another number is the same as the number divided by the other number. So it's going to be the numerator minus denominator. So we can do that here at this part, bringing this to this side and bringing the denominator separately. This is just to make our work neat. So we have to subtract. In our subtraction, we borrow 1 from 3 to make 10 here. 10 minus 7 gives 3. Then we are left with 2 here. 2 minus 2 gives 0. 9 minus 6 gives 3. And 4 minus 4 gives 0. Place your points. 5 minus 1 gives 4. Then we now go ahead to check the antilog readings of 4.0303. To do that, we keep the integer part. Go to antilog reading tables. Check 0, 3 under 0 differences of 3. And that will give us 1073. We now count. Come back to the integer part. The integer part here is 4. We add 1, making 5. So we count. 1, 2, 3, 4. Since there is no fifth number, we add a 0 to make 5 digits. So the evaluation of this problem will give us 10,730. And to three significant figures, we shall have 10,000. 700. Problem 4. Evaluate cube root of 55.03 times 1.479 times 6532. In this problem, we still consider using our table and bring all the numbers on the number columns. Here, with the nature of this problem, we are going to find the logarithm of these numbers and add them together before we divide by 3. Since the cube root is covering everything. So, we now find the logarithm of 55.06. If you find the logarithm of this number, the integer part is 1. And 55 under 0 differences of 6, everything will give us 1.7409. Again, the logarithm here of this number is going to give us 0 0.1700. And here the integer part is 3. So we have 3.8150. So by now you should be able to find the logarithm of any number. So here we are going to add the three logarithms. So adding the three logarithms. We have 9 plus 0 plus 0 giving us 9. Then we have 0 plus 0 plus 5 giving us 5. 4 plus 7 gives 11. 11 plus 1 gives 12. So we write 2 carry 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. Plus the 1 we have carried making 17. We write 7 and carry 1. Place our points. So we have 1 plus 0 plus 3 giving 4 plus what the one we have carried we have a uh, 5 so because of this we are going to divide everything by 3 everything is raised to the power of 1 over 3 so we are going to divide 5.7259 by 3 and that will give us 1.9086 Again, we look for the anti-log reading of 1.9086. To do that, we keep this integer part 1. Check 90 under 8 differences of 6. We have 8102. Go back to this integer part 1. Add 1 to it, making 2. We count 1, 2 and place our decimal point. So the solution of the problem is 81.02 problem 5 
we shall evaluate using logarithms the square root of everything 327 times 2.056 all over 4.104 times 71.3 all raised to the power of 3 still be expressed as 27 the cube root the square root is expressed as over 2 and the cube is expressed as the numerator here so to do this we have our number and log column table so here we have the numerator first the logarithm of 327 is 2.5145 and again the logarithm of 2.056 is 0 0.3131 with this numerator we are going to add so to add we have 5 plus 1 giving us 6 4 plus 3 7 1 plus 1 gives 2 5 plus 3 gives 8 place your point 2 plus 0 gives 2 so we keep this as numerator we go to the denominator placing the denominator we have 4.104 and the logarithm of 4.104 gives 0 0.6132 and the logarithm of 71.3 gives 1.8531 again because this is multiplication we add the denominator so this 2 plus 1 gives 3 3 plus 3 gives 6 1 plus 5 gives 6 6 plus 8 gives 14 we write 4 carry 1 place your point 0 plus 1 gives 1 plus the 1 we have carried gives 2 so we have this as the denominator now we are going to subtract the numerator and denominator so to do that we have this and uh, we bring the denominator in line so we subtract 6 minus 3 gives uh, 3 7 minus 6 gives 1 here we are going to borrow 1 12 minus 6 gives 6 remaining 7 here 7 minus 4 gives 3 place your point 2 minus 2 gives a uh, 0 and here we said since the power of everything is 3 over 2 so we are either going to multiply by 3 and divide by 2 or we divide by 2 before multiplying by 3 so in this case we are going to multiply by 3 because of this 3 so multiplying this one by 3 we have a 1.0839 then we now divide by the 2 here so we divide by 2 because of these 2 here we are dividing by 2 dividing this by 2 we have 0 0.5420 now we look for the antilogarithm of this 0 0.5420 to do that we keep the 0 check 54 under 2 there's no difference of 0 so on the anti log redeem tables we have a 3483 and now come back to this 0 add 1 that's 1 we now count 1 digit and place the decimal point the solution to the problem is 3.483 and uh, we have it finally as 3.48 to 3 significant figures this will bring our solution to an end and uh, this will equally end our problems on logarithms Th thank you for watching the video